Hi, welcome back to Chemistry Connection. Today we're going to be making candy corn mountain pour soak. We will be using our magic yellow mica and our magic orange mica, as well as our chestnut and birch fragrance oil. And to fill our three pound silicone mold, we will be using three pounds of our shea butter mountain pour soap. So to start, we're going to cut up one pound of our shea butter mountain pour into cubes and then put it in a microwave safe container. You'll need to mount this in the microwave for 30 second intervals until it is completely melted. I had mine in the microwave for a total of two minutes, stirring during each 30 second interval. At the end of the two minutes, I did still have a few small chunks, but with some continued stirring, when those melted pretty quickly. Then we're going to add a half teaspoon of our magic yellow mica. You'll need to stir this for quite a while to make sure it is fully incorporated. Once you have the color all mixed in, then you will add your fragrance oil. You don't want to do this at the same time because the fragrance oil can cause the melt and pour soap to harden faster and you want to make sure that you have plenty of time to get the color incorporated fully. Once you're sure that you have your fragrance oil and color fully incorporated into your melt and pour soap, then you will pour it into your 3 pound silicone mold. Then we're going to take a sprayer with isopropyl alcohol and spray on top to get rid of any bubbles. Next we're going to do our orange layer. We're going to melt in the microwave the same way as before, then add a half teaspoon of our magic orange mica. When you get ready to pour this layer, you want to make sure that you have a pretty strong film on top of the yellow layer before you pour so that the hot orange layer does not pierce through. You may also need to check the temperature of your orange layer to be sure that it isn't too hot whenever you pour. Next we're going to do our white layer. Since we don't have a color to add, I immediately added the fragrance and then set aside. While I'm waiting for this white layer to cool, we're going to mix together our Epsom salts and some magic yellow mica for the top of our soap. Once your white layer has cooled down to the right temperature and you have a strong film on top of the orange layer, then you can pour it on top. Again, spraying with isopropyl alcohol. Once this white layer has cooled down and you have a very slight film on top, then you will add your Epsom salts. You will just sprinkle these on top and then you can even use your spoon to sort of pat them down to make sure that they are going to stick to the soap. And then you can also spray with isopropyl alcohol. Once you've let this cure for at least 4 hours, then you can cut. I'm using our small miter box and straight cutter to press firmly down on the soap to create even bars. And now we have some really cute candy corn melt and pour soaps that were super easy to make and are great gifts for the fall season.